Good morning. This video is for my sweat and smile instructors. So if you're not a fitness instructor and you have no intention of becoming a fitness instructor and you don't care about becoming a fitness instructor, then this video is not for you. Um, on the other hand, I mentor a lot of new instructors and so I'm starting a new series just for instructors. So we're going to start with the whole series with what I think is the most important thing as an instructor and that is your very first impression. And to make a first impression that requires that you have to be at class early. So you see I'm here, nobody's here yet. I'm always here early. I am lucky I teach the first class of the day almost every single day. But on the days where I do teach a later class, I am still early, I still stand outside of the classroom so that when people walk up, I can answer their questions, I can introduce myself. Because when you have new students and they just walk in and they don't make a connection with you, one, they're much more likely to walk out, and two, they're much more likely to never come back. So if you wanna build your classes and build consistency in your students, you have to make sure that very first impression matters. So long ago, when I first started, I actually used to hand out business cards. I don't anymore, I work at corporate gyms, they get really cranky about that. Um, so I don't do it anymore, but this is eight, nine years later, and I still have students who say, I remember the very first class when you handed me your business card and I got that connection. Now part of that was my business card does have my before picture on it. So I would hand people the card and be like, look, I understand, I remember starting fitness and this is how far I've come. So it helped build that um, relationship. So if you're in like a private studio and you can do that, I really recommend it because they've done studies and as great as it is when you remember everybody's name, it is more important for people to know your name. When people know your name, they feel like they have a connection with you. So that means that every time you start a class, even if you are teaching to people you've all met before, you need to introduce yourself so that they get to know your name. And also, this is why I strongly encourage social media, which is a whole nother video, but as long as people get to know your name, they're gonna build that connection. So when you introduce yourself, make sure you say your name, you get their name and work really hard at learning it, and then tell them what to expect in the class that they are about to take. Like, I'm about to teach Ripped. I say almost the same thing to every single person. Hi, you're welcome to Ripped. My name is Melissa. Let me tell you what you're in for. This class is a little bit of everything. We throw everything that you can do all at once. So we do weights, we do interval work, we do power, we do plyometrics, we do kickboxing. So it's going to be overwhelming. I tell them, it's going to be overwhelming, but that's okay. This class will get you stronger and it will get you there quicker. So keep coming back and about the third class is when you're going to feel that you are stronger and that you understand the choreography a little bit more. Don't worry about getting overwhelmed today. So this way, they know, okay, well she told me, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be overwhelming. So when it gets crazy and overwhelming, it's exactly what they expected. And then they're like, oh, okay, well that third class will feel better. Okay, I'm setting them up to get to the third class so that by then they understand the class a little bit more and we build our relationship a little stronger. So don't skip this step of introducing yourself and explaining the class that they're in. It is a really important step. And if you don't have that like 10 second elevator pitch down, ask other instructors who teach it. Hey, how do you explain this class? Because I explain every class that I do in a different way. And sometimes I tailor it to the person I'm working with. So if I can tell that they are probably a beginner and they just like just walked into the gym and this is scary, I will say, hey, I show options for every fitness level. So this is a class that will grow with you. As you get stronger, there's always the next option. So I'm telling them that they can do this even though they're beginners. If they are hardcore and I can tell they are looking for a hardcore workout, then I'm like, okay, so I'll show level one, level two, level three. If you wanna to skip to level three, you go straight for it. So you need to pay attention to the person that you are talking to. So that's the first video in our instructor series. 
remember that this is a wonderful job and these people who are coming to see you, they really look to you for a lot. So start it off strong, get there early, build that connection with them so that they'll keep coming back to you over and over again. Have a great day and sweat and smile.